I just went to Target and picked up a $5 turtleneck. It's just a plain white turtleneck. Then I went to Hobby Lobby and picked up a brown. And let me see if I can... It just kind of... It's just a brown that has some different, like, rustic look to it. And I paid... 70 cents for it. You only need one eighth. Um, so there's the information for that. So 70 cents for one eighth fabric. Then I wanted something easy to stick the fabric to the t-shirt and I just went with liquid stitch. Then you need some puff paint and I don't have a sewing machine so I'm just going to use puff paint around the edges. I got a red one, a brown one, a red one, and an orange. A bow if you're making um, a girl shirt or if you don't want to make a girl shirt, you don't have to. If you do make bows, you can make these. Um, I make bows, but I just wanted something cheap, and these are 99 cents at Hobby Lobby. You need a pencil, but I didn't have a pencil, so I used a Sharpie. A piece of paper, a tape measure, and what you're going to want to do is put the shirt on the child, and let me zoom in so I can show you. I marked on her where I wanted the K to start, her name is Cadence, so whatever initial you're using, where the K was to start and to end. So that's going to be my outline. You may need to play around with um, your initial if you free draw it. I free drawed it. You can go on the computer and print it out and impact the font impact. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out. Next, lay the initial on the shirt and see if that's the size you want it. If you want it to be a little smaller, a little thicker. Next, place your stencil on the fabric and you're going to trace around the fabric. I mean, trace around the stencil and then cut it out. Now I'm just taking the liquid stitch and I'm applying it. I know that this is not usually where people apply this, but I am applying liquid stitch to the subway bag because I just needed some paper to put it on. And then I'm just going to take a paintbrush and I'm going to dip my liquid stitch onto the paintbrush. When you're doing that, you're going to lift up little sections. I would do it, but I don't have enough hands to hold the camera. But you're going to lift up your initial and then paint the back side of it, but keep it in the same spot so you don't lose your place. I did put a DVD case underneath so that if this liquid stitch did get onto the other side of the fabric, it would be okay. So this is the final view of the turkey. And again, you can use your... Um, your initial that you need. I obviously don't have a sewing machine so I just went around it with um, some puff paint. I'm probably going to do another coat. I added a bow because I have a girl. The eyes, um, don't use the adhesive that you used for the initial. You're going to want to use a hot glue gun or you can actually just paint the eyes on. That'll probably be better. Um, I'm not going to wash this just because, or if I wash it, I'll hand wash it. Draw a little triangle for the nose with some puff paint like this yeah. and then just make the little gobbler yeah, and that's gobbler. the final final day that's the final finish product Product. I hope that if y'all make it y'all will leave it as a video response below because I kind of want to see what other people put on their touches so say have a good night have a good night bye 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 just